Hello and thanks for joining us on Pundas Inside Run. It's my favourite day of the year. It's my favourite race of the year. It's the Group 1 Newmarket Handicap. Simon O'Donnell joins me. James Lamb from Pundas.com. Gentlemen, it's a great race. I just love watching a huge field coming down the Flemington straight, charging at the line over the 1200. It's a terrific race, isn't it, It's James? a cracking race. It's a great handicap too. Yep. Massive spread in the weights and there's a good mix of three-year-olds and older horses. I, I can't wait for Saturday. Something you overlook there, which is quite obvious, you with your favourite people. Is it, okay, well, let's have a group hug before we get into yeah, some yeah, tipping. Sort of thing, yeah. <laughs> Beautifully done. Uh, but not an easy day, Flemington. I, there's a couple of races I just said oh, no. Deary, deary. Yeah, very tough day. Uh, the, the feature race, I think, is a terrific betting race. Um, a number of ways you can go there, and I like a couple at sort of four or five bucks, but yeah, same as you, I found it very tough. All right, shortly, uh, Shark will join us to have a look at the Group 1 Coolmore from over in Sydney. Huge days racing there at Rose Hill. And he's also got his uh, his multi for the week, his perm. And uh, we're going to get the perk this week. Three legs in a second again last week. Moving straight into the race, the new marker. Let's talk about some of the main chances, gentlemen. I wish I win heads the market. Hard not to like what we saw in the Lightning. Is there any negative around I wish I win? Well, it was, a, it was an awesome Lightning trial. Yeah. Uh, I just think the weight is my only mm -hmm. little query. Uh, 56 and a half. If you go, if you go through it outside of Zutori in what was a fairly ordinary edition of the race, you go through the horses that have carried 56 and a half in recent times. Red Kirk Warrior, Lankin Rupee, Haylist, Black Caviar take over target. They're all superstars. I don't know if I wish I win is there just yet. Might be after Saturday, but yeah, the weight just worries me a little bit. We've seen a couple of horses already win down the straight in their career, Private Eye. In secret, she's a great filly and she gets no weight. No, it gets no weight and, and you know, been there, done that before. Mm. And that win in the spring, she got knocked from pillar to post, picked herself back up and just went bang. And, and I think her best form, she, she's the one to beat in the race. The Moody horse, I wish I win. I've got a funny feeling I wish I win is going to be looking for a 1400 and not a 1200. Well, there you go. Haven't got it in my top three. We'll get to your tip shortly. Let's start with your top three for the new market. Yeah, well, I am going with the, the three year olds down in the weights. They have a really good record in this race yes. in recent times. I'm going with Lofty Strike uh, at an each way price. I, I think $9, $10 is a really good price for this horse. Two runs back outstanding. Obviously, beat Uncommon James uh, first up in slick time and then second to that horse in the Oakley. I think third up, 1,200, looks perfect. Three runs down the straight have all been good, but I think he's improved a lot since his last run down the straight in the VRC Classic. Uh, Barry 12 looks ideal for him as well. He can go through his gears out wide on the track. Mm, so you got Lofty Strike, then the other two? Uh, Lofty Strike on top, in secret, 51 and a half. That mm. Coolmore win was outrageous. Uh, I wish I win for third. I did, I liked Private Eye the whole way up to this race, and then he drew Barry two. Mm. I just hate that inside gate. The last 25 years, only one horse has won from barriers one or two, the new market. So. I'm almost, almost identical, wow. but I've swapped in secret for Lofty Strike. I wish I win, and I was the same with Private O. So very similar to James. Now, I'm interested to know what you've done. You've left I wish I went out. Yeah, I have. I, I'm with in secret on top. I, I think she's a star, and yep. what we saw in the Coolmore was, was spectacular. You don't see many better wins than that uh, coming up the six furlongs at Flemington. So I've got her on top. Marzu, I just think he's a really good horse, mm -hmm. a really good horse. Stables in form, and I think they'll have him primed to do well first up. And September run, I, I just think... It was a good run. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought the first run over 1,000 yeah. was spot on, and I expect better over the six furlongs. And we know she goes very well up the straight. It likes the straight. All right, away from the new market, your best bets at Flemington. Uh, race three, number three, Shuffle Dancer. Won three of her last four and was second to Road to Arataki in the one miss, which is really good form. It was 35 days between runs last time and going back in trip, which didn't look that suitable on paper, but still beat them. So I think with that run under its belt, stepping up to the mile, I think that looks perfect. And I think a real Flemington horse, real line chaser. Malum's two from two, uh, should find a nice trail from a middle gate. So yeah, I like uh, Shuffle Dancer. The, the other favourite revolutionary miss, uh, drawn awkwardly, barrier one, I think that could be problematic. And uh, some value? Uh, next best was race nine, number two, Meridius, in the last race. I think Meridius? 1,400 might be the key to that horse, uh, back in grade. And the value, I can't believe I'm tipping this horse. I never thought I would tip this horse again, but race six, number three, Vow and Declare, I think, one by three. Uh, not sure it can beat, right you are, but 280 the place appeals with a four and a half 
kilo weight swing on right you are and was was first up last time so I think open to a lot of improvement and probably sits outside the leader in this which looks to be the WA horse Marachino. Mm, I'll get to Marachino shortly your best bet in value. Yeah I apologise to Lammy right now because I'm with Shuffle Dancer as well race three number three in the uh, in the CUNY for, for Pete Moody I, I think you know the form leading in is, is exemplary and expected to run again very well. My best bet of the day is in the size produce race four number four Tom Kitten, Blake Shinderide for the um, for the Godolphin camp and James Cummins and uh, let's uh, hope we're not calling it a cat at the end of that. <laughs> I've gone with Marachino in that race, the Western Australian. That's my best bet of the day at around six dollars. I think he's a terrific trainer, Lulu Gianni, and th this horse is aimed towards the Australia Cup. And my value bet is race five, number nine, Forbidden City. I've been sticking with it, but I think it will get the distance. Had one go at the 1500 and was pretty good, so I think it gets to the 1600 metres. Before we finish up, your omen bet. Well, the omen bet, you know, the AFL kicks off this weekend and everyone's on their run to September. Ooh. September run. That's Simon's omen bet of the week. And of course, it is a terrific day's racing in Melbourne, but it also is at Sydney. Group races everywhere. The Group 1 Coolmore Classic is next with the Shark. insights and content. That's better. Gamble responsibly. Racing in Sydney moves to Rose Hill for a terrific day and the Group 1 Coolmore Classic is the main race and uh, Shark joins us. Shark, we're talking about uh, the best fillies and mares in the land racing yes. over 1,500 metres. Absolutely. A great race. Handicap. Handicap race. So mm -hmm. a few of these, uh, you know, a bit of weight to carry, particularly Hinged, who's got the, the true weight for age form against all comers, but has to give it away to some mares that are pretty sharp on their day and, and getting some weight relief away from it. Zoo Gotcha decided not to go there, goes in an easier race earlier in the day. Now let's talk about some of the main hopes. And a Visto, very, very good first up, uh, but it's drawn a little wide here, son. Yeah, drawn a little wide. Don't think that's going to be a problem. A okay. couple of these horses drawn wide, and I, I think that'll help Hinge drawn wide. It'll give James McDonald a chance to, to slot in at some stage and just give her a a, a little bit of a breather. Interesting one for me is Espiona, um, scratched out of Melbourne. I reckon she goes better in Melbourne than she does. It's yeah. obvious she goes better obvious, in Melbourne, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm so. quite stunned by that. Yeah. Quite stunned by so that. So you're you know questioning Chris Waller. I had her the best, my best bet in Melbourne was Espiona, yeah. and I haven't got her in the top three in Sydney. She'll come out and win this now. She's a and, and, and just yeah. absolutely yeah. set fire to and, the theory as, that as she's better in Melbourne. It's not the first time I've ever gone as, into the fetal position. Has <laughs> Chris got your mobile? Have you sent him oh, a text? fine, fine. Uh, uh, let's talk about some others. You, you mentioned Hinge. For me, Hinge needs a cut out of the ground. I think so. Yeah, there are a couple in this. Interesting, there's a French horse as well, Purple Pay, who, or French bred horse, trained by William Haggis, I think it is. Uh, yes, coming across uh, to have a look at this race. She's got really good form in Europe. But it's all with giving the track, yep. and it's we're looking at 30 degree days yeah. in the lead up to Saturday. You'd think it's going to be a good three track. She she would not have seen ground like that before. I wouldn't have thought purple pay. And ruthless dame wasn't far away last start. The uh, the lightly race ruthless dame drops in weight. Yeah, it drops in weight. I mean, I, I think we could probably name 12. Yep. He could win the race, and well, that's Jesus the beauty did. of the race. Am I allowed to say that? No, probably yeah. getting trouble for that. Yeah. yeah. The, the beauty of the race is there's so many chances. That's what's so hard to find the winner year in, year out. Right, oh, Shark, who have you got on top? Because I found this a difficult uh, race. Yeah. Even with Zoo got you in, it didn't make any difference coming mm. out, did it? I'm, I'm sort of working around the favourite a bit. I think there's a fair bit of speed in this race, and Ana is going to have to put the afterburners on early to get across, or she's going to have to try and slot in, and I think she can get caught three wide here. There's just an element of risk. I'm looking at two of the beaten runners out of the guy, Walter, which was won by Hope in Her Heart, who's really reliable and, yep. and consistent. Just think that uh, yearning, number 13, with the winkers going on, at around that $13, $14 mark, I think she's a real live chance in this race. Uh, Mustang Valley, yes. number four. Now, Mustang Valley was back inside, couldn't get a run at them. Mm. Yearning was basically on their heels for the length of the straight, and they finished all about a length from each other in that race. I'm thinking Yearning and Mustang Valley with better luck and more room to move, might just surge and, and be really good each way bets in the race. I've got hinged in next best. She's got the class form on her side. She brings animo form to the race. None of the others do here. She has to be somewhere in that top three or four. Tom. Yeah, you got me panicking. We need to turn the hoses on, I think, for hinge. You've made mm. me panic now. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to stay with her on top. Okay. I think she'll be settling midfield with, 
with James McDonald and that'll get her a best chance of, of winning this race. So I'm going to stick with Hinge. Uh, how do we say Torrigini? Torrigini? Torrigine. Any way you like. Okay, Torrigine. well let's go with Torrigini as my, um, my second best pick. <laughs> and we, we mentioned Ruthless Dane yep. um, earlier, uh, I think for the, the Ma Eustace camp, you know, they're, they're on fire. Yep. Uh, bigger presence in Sydney these days. I think we've got another 30 or 40 boxes coming their way, so I'd like to uh, have a bit more Group 1 success up there. I've got Ruthless Dame on top, but out of that surround, wasn't beaten far. I've got Mustang Valley in for second. I really like that run up the rail. Meets the winner three and a half kilos better at the weights and is two from three third up. And She's a Belter is another horse that you want to back third up one for one. Didn't do a lot, but uh, I just think uh, uh, drops three and a half kilos in weight uh, as well and will be running a big race here as well. All right, that's the Group 1 Cornwall Classic. Shark, your best bets and your best value. Uh -huh. Uh, looking a little bit around the office, we've got the two got you in as a, a next best. We'll get to her in a minute. I've made my best race five, number six, Colino, at about that $4.60, mm -hmm. $4.80 range. Uh, race fit, three runs under his belt this time around. Chris Waller stretched this fella out to a mile and 1,800 metres last prep. Treating it like a run on sprinter this time around, it went bang, bang its first two, and then it gave spacewalk basically eight kilos at the handicap and a head start last time when it was running home strongly for third. Drops in weight here to 53 kilos. Karen McAvoy on. There's good speed in this race, over 1,100. I'm hoping Kalino's close enough to finish over the top in race five and get the job done. Uh, race six, number seven, Zoo Gotcha, next best look. She's $1.80 in the far lap, but she runs here because of the wide yep. draw in the cool more. She drew 14, they've got a softer option. She's drawn perfectly here. She's a group one winner. First up run was good. She probably just emptied out that last 100, I reckon. She'll be better for this. She should put the boys away. Best value, this, I, I cannot believe the price of this horse. You've got a world-class horse running in race seven, the Sky High, which is effectively a set weight penalties race with some group three and group two horses. Magical Lagoon, number six, is a group one Oaks winner in Europe. She's been to Japan and run in a group one. She's taken on some serious horses in Europe. Trialed twice, I reckon $26, she's a great bet. Simon? Um, I'm going uh, with Knight's Order. I think you'll find his form again um, this weekend for the Waterhouse camp. He's tough as old boots, so I expect him to lead over the 2,000 metres and, and run them off their feet. And then uh, the value, I'm race two, number one, Zolfacard. Did mm. no good in the Blue yeah. Diamond down here. I'm expecting a real reversal in form. My best bet is just getting out in the Blue Diamond now. That's uh, still City, race four, number six. And we also <laughs> mentioned Mustang Valley earlier on as my best value. All right, that's it for Sydney. But don't go anywhere because coming up, the perm and the perk. Can we get the quaddy this week and find that quaddy killer? If you're in love with racing, then you love the new betting brand for racing fans. With exclusive markets, promotions, insights and content. That's better. Gamble responsibly. This is Punners Inside Run and now we're going to find Punners Inside Run Multi and the man who does that for us every week is the shark. He got it first week about $11, so you've still got a bit of money left in the kit. Still kick. got a bit there, Matty. So you've got to find bit. it for us this week. What are we doing? We'll get it this week. We're going to start off at Flemington, race one. We're going to kick off with the favourite, number four, Shock him over. Does $2. look hard to beat. He looks yeah. very hard to beat. Good money for him early at a short quote, so that's always a good sign. Uh, then we're going to go to race five, number three, Barb Raider. Okay. Second up into this race, getting to a mile. Uh, I think she's the best horse in this race. I think she'll go and get the job done second up. It was a really good run first up. Then we go up to Rose Hill, race six, number seven, Zugotcha, $1.80. That gets us $18 for that trio. Eight. So effectively, we're pretty keen on two of them and Barb Raider gets us the value. The value. I think the value option is Barb Raider. All sure. right. Uh, that's uh, Sharks Multi, the perm. Now for the perk, the punters inside run Quaddy. And uh, each week we try and find the Quaddy killer. And last week it was non-conformist. Simon got tipped it and forgot to tell us. That's the sort of selfish stuff we're getting from Simon O'Donnell. So you've got to lift this week. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting Skitty in the first leg, and we start with my numbers and then we massage them. I like Maricino. I've got Right You Are, and I know you don't like Young Werther, but the time to back Young Werther is third up. Right. What do you think? Young Werther third up. Oh, you can, you can, you can massage it, you can take one Most out, the, put one in. About the fifth time he's been third up. Yep. I don't mind him. He's Young won Werther. one race. I oh, know. He's third up. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to scratch him? Sorry? Do you, want to, do you want to knock him out? Well, I don't own him, so I can't scratch him. I'll take him <laughs> out of the quarter. He's out. Young Werther's out. Okay. Oh, that's brave. That's brave. Anything you want to put in? 
Yeah, well done. Well done, goes back in. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. I've been overruled. It's selection like in an AFL team. Out, in, out, in. So he's back in. Anything else you like? No. Right on. I'm the coach of the twos then. I'm kicking up for him late. <laughs> he got 40 plus in the Simon's twos. He's the back captain. in. He doesn't want him in. <laughs> he's calling him old worker, but then he's got to think about Germans. I don't know. It's something to do with the war. Mentioned it once, got away with it. Anyway, moving on to the next leg. Um, I've got Private Eye. I wish I win Lofty Strike in secret. Buenas noches. I thought you'd like Buenas noches. I just like saying it. Yeah, but it was my fifth selection. Okay. Okay. Simon. Take out I wish I win and put in Marzu. <laughs> Mazu goes in. Mazu, You're not going like to take that. out I wish I win, are you? I can't, if you want me to, I will. No, no. Well, it's all all right, two got... versus one. I'm, the way you both of you looked at me, I know you don't want to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got six in the main race. We go to the third leg. I've got four here. I've got Scalapini, mm-hmm. Ayrton, Visionari and Savannah Cloud at odds. Worst fold. Woosha? No argument from me of what you got. Woosha goes in. Played a bit of footy against and with Woosha. Very scary individual, but a lovely man. Uh, and lastly, in the last leg, Meridius, who James Lamb yeah. likes. I've got Jenny Jerome, Is It Me, and Zuporin. I have no issue with those selections, Simon. What about you? Yeah. Did you have Is It Me in? Yes, I did. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I Good wasn't Good to see you paying properly. attention. Yeah, no, no, that's yeah. okay. Takes me a while to yeah. read things. Yeah. No, so when you see a name tag, you go, Is It yeah. Me? No, that's yeah. why we put the name no, tag like in the first place. It's quite embarrassing, isn't yeah. it? Look down and say, oh. Hi, Michael. My name, no, my name's Pocket Square. Oh. But anyway, so all right, so we've got four. So we've added uh, Buenos Noches and Marzu in the big race. Mm-hmm. We've added Wusha. So that now gives us uh, four by five. That's 20 by six is 120 by three. 360 into 100 is about uh, 27%. I reckon that's good. Yeah, all right. hey, we'll get that. I'd be happy to collect that. Yeah. Well, we thought last week we were going to get it too. No, do you know what? We'll get it this there week. There we go. He's been tapped the table. Thank you, Shark, as always. Thank you, Matty. Thank, thank you, Simon. Simon. Touch wood, we'll get it. Yep. And uh, thank you to James Lamb from punners.com.au, as always. And he's pretty keen on Meridius. It might be the one that gets us home. That's it for this week. You can subscribe below. Check us out on all the socials. And happy punting for another great weekend's racing. Gamble responsibly.